What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. Today I have a very important announcement for those of you waiting for a jailbreak, especially if you're on 15.5 or if you're on 14.8, 14.8.x and stuff like that, 14.7 and you don't have a jailbreak for your device. There is an iOS version that you can still update to that will be supported by Fugu15 by Linus Henzi, but you have to act now because it's a beta and it will very likely be unsigned in the next hours or days. This video is brought to you by Startsoft KeyPass, a software that allows you to unlock your iPhone if you forgot your Apple ID or if you bought it second hand and it's locked. It also allows you to bypass the setup if the device cannot be activated because it's from a foreign country and you don't have a SIM card for it. So definitely check the program out in the link below. There is a free trial available and the software works for both Windows and Mac OS. Check it out in the link below. So right now iOS 15.4 Beta 4 is currently signed. You can check it out here on my website by going to iDeviceCentral.com and then from the menu you go to iOS signing status. Here select your device, for example in my case it's iPhone XS Max and you will be able to see all the versions for your device. Unfortunately today Apple released 15.6 as well in the final version. iOS 15.6 is no longer in beta which means 15.5 will stop being signed at some point but most importantly 15.5 beta 4 which is an older version of the 15.5 will very likely stop being signed soon especially since this one is vulnerable to the same vulnerabilities as 15.5. 4.1. So whether you're running 15.4.1 or 15.5 beta 4, it's the same thing in terms of security. And if you remember, Linus Hansi will release Fugu 15 and more details about it, which is basically a jailbreak for 15.4.1 and of course lower. And this will work on all devices, but it's important to keep in mind that this will also work on 15.5 beta 4, not on 15.5, very important, the release version of 15.5 or the RC don't have those vulnerabilities anymore but the older 15.5 beta 4 still has those vulnerabilities and it's your chance right now to downgrade do a backup and downgrade to this especially if you're on 15.5. If you're on 15.8, for example, or 15.7.1, 15.7, there's no jailbreak for your device and you don't mind waiting a couple more months, you can jump to 15.5 beta 4. That would also give you a boost on the applications that can run on your device. But do keep in mind, you will have to wait for a while. Anyways, in order to get it, you go here to iOS signing status, you choose your device, like I said, for example, iPhone XS Max, and then you go to beta 4 over here, 15.5 beta 4, and press the blue link over here. Here. This will give you the IPSW file and you will be able to download it and restore it with either Finder or iTunes or I don't know any application you prefer to restore IPSWs. But do keep in mind you should make a backup first. This is going to be your last chance if you want to jailbreak and you're running 15.5. But do this right now because this beta is probably only going to survive a few hours or days at most. Because Apple likely knows that this is vulnerable to the same thing like 15.4.1. And with this announcement by Linus Hens it's probably going to be short-lived. So if you're waiting for Torin to be updated or Cheo jailbreak or Uncover or anything, go to that version right now. Don't delay, tomorrow it might be too late. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, peace out.